All right, guys, it's been exactly nine days since I last filmed my uh, coin star hunt. And this is how much I've accumulated since then. And I've already got some silver to show you. So um, I know in my last video I had some a crazy amount of silver. It's nowhere near that. But, uh, but I do got a couple things to show you. Uh, so let's go through this. I'll um, go through all these coins, see if there's anything exciting in here that I missed, and then we'll go through the um, the finds that I have set aside already. And uh, I got some cool stuff. So I'll be right back with all the finds. Okay, let's start with the non-currency, and I got a lot of them for some reason this this time. Uh, I got a freedom. No cash value token. In fact, I think I have two of those. Oh, it's some slightly different. No cash value. But both have an eagle on it, but slightly different. I imagine they're just steel. Um, I got two of these. Fun and games token. Gaming token of some sort. Um, got another token here, no cash value, it's San Alijo State Beach, I believe that's a fairly local beach. Uh, we got one of these angel coins, I believe the Catholic Church puts them out. Um, I, have, I have a ton of these, so this will just go with the, the pile I have. I got this weird medallion, or well, I don't know what you call it, it's not really a coin, but it's uh, some sort of golf club. I can't read what that says. Something Club. Kind of looks like my name, Chris, but uh, I don't know. I can't imagine that's what it says. Anyway, Something Club. Um, I got this weird thing. It's not even a coin. It's just a piece of metal. You got a little, uh, little play money here. Look at that die rotation. Oh my gosh. And then I got another one of these things. Which I've been getting a lot of lately and I have no idea what they are. I think those are headphones. I think they're a token to get headphones at an airport maybe? I don't know. I have no idea what that's for. Alright, that'll wrap it up for the non-currency. So let me... I'll actually have one other thing that's a, a fake currency, I think. I think this is a fake ancient coin or something. I don't know what it is. But it's a. Uh, I can't imagine that's anything real. So I'll set that. I'll call it fake money for now. Okay, so let me uh, move these aside and we'll go through the foreigns. Okay, let's take a look at the foreign coins I got. First one here is a horrific. Mexican peso, or well, five pesos. I'm sorry, five centavos from uh, 1971. I had to look at my loop to see it. I, even then, I can barely read it. The year is right here. But uh, yeah, that's a five centavos from Mexico. Set that there. And then uh, we got a little guy here. It's a one euro cent. Um, I forget what country that is. Maybe Greece? Let's see, I can't see what year that is either. So 2002. But I'm not sure what country that is. I'll have to look it up. And then we got a 2 euro cent here from that I believe is Spain, if I recall. Yeah, 2007 from España. It says right there, so 2 euro cents from Spain. Another 2 euro cent. This one from, uh, I've never seen this one before, so I'm not sure. Oh, it says Netherlands right there. Cool. Two euro cents from the Netherlands. And then we got uh, a bigger coin from Spain. Five euro cents. 1999. Right there. And we got one new penny from the UK. And it is a 1971. And it's bent. Kind of interesting. And that will do it for the foreign coins. So let me uh, push these aside and we'll do the American coins. Okay. First thing, um, 
I, this isn't anything super exciting, but I did find a half dollar in, in the coin star the other day. Um, I had set it aside because I wanted to remind myself to check and see if it's a magic coin. It is not. It weighs exactly what it should weigh. So, it's just a half dollar. Uh, we got a couple wheat cents here. We got a 1930 wheat cent in not horrific condition. Pretty decent for its age. And then we got a 1938D wheat cent. I think it's a little bent. Well, maybe not. But it's not in great shape at all. It was in much, much worse shape when I got it, but I washed it off a little bit already. So there we go. There's a 38D. And then I found a silver dime. 1964 out of Denver. And I think that was like the day after I filmed my last coin star find video okay we've also got a few days later found a 1947 S silver dime this one was actually in a big pile of coins it was a one of the coin star finds had just a ton of coins that someone left there and this was mixed in there. And then the last thing I have is another silver dime. It's a 1962 out of Philly. I think it's Philly. Let me verify that. Yeah, it is. So this one here is particularly exciting to me. Because this is the final silver dime I need for my dad's old collection. So that's pretty darn exciting to me. So I'm going to go get my album out and we will add it to it. Okay, I've got my dad's old album out. Um, I forgot to mention something kind of important about where I got that. Um, it wasn't actually in the Coinstar machine. Um, in my last Coinstar video, I mentioned that I found one of those Merc Dimes in a water dispensing unit. And uh, I just checked the reject tray, to, the change tray. And uh, sometimes I find quarters, sometimes I find dimes. You know, every once in a while it happens. Today I got this. I could not believe it because I just got that Merc dime uh, last week, whatever it was, and uh, it happened again. It just it blew my mind. And not only did it happen again, but it was the one dime that I needed for this album. So that really blew my mind. But anyhow, let's uh, let's get into this and check it out. There's the album. That page is all full. And this book also has um, slots for proofs. So there's a lot of empty holes because I don't have all the proofs. But uh, there we go. This, this whole line over here is empty and most of these here. But uh, there's where this is going to go. So let me pull this out. And we'll slide this in there. And we will have a complete set of Roosevelt Silver Dimes. Got some gunk out of there. There we go. Alright. That is fantastic. Looks pretty good. There's a lot of them that are in really great shape. I mean, they look kind of weird because they've been sitting in a... Um, one of those cardboard push-in uh, albums for many, many years. So it's kind of obvious which ones I put in there. <laughs> you know, the ones that have the kind of the yellow toning, the weird looks to them. Those ones have been in the, the book, but the ones that look like this and this and that, I've added those. But we got a complete set now. That is amazing. All right, well... Um, let me go bring up my world coin map and see if any of those um, are new flags. I'm pretty sure they're not, but uh, maybe. I'm not sure if I have Netherlands on there yet, so let me go check that out. And uh, I'll bring in if uh, we have a new flag. Okay, I checked my foreign coin map, and uh, there was nothing new to add there. We had everything on there. So that will wrap this up. 
Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next Coinstar Hunt.